Meanwhile, Utah Republicans gathered today to pick new leadership for the party at the state organizing convention. Now, in recent years, this event has gained a reputation for being contentious and extremely long, but not today. Senior political correspondent Glenn Mills has the recap from Utah Valley University. A new tone was set early at this year's convention. There was little appetite for fighting or drawn out debate. The new chair says he will build on that as he moves the party forward. The main event on this year's agenda was an election for a new party chair. Four candidates lined up for the job, but it wasn't a close race. Former state lawmaker and former Senator Lee Stafford Derek Brown walked away with it in the first round of voting. And there's a lot as the party that has really been difficult and troubling and sort of taken people apart. And I think today's decision by the party fundamentally is a decision to not look backwards, but to look forward to the future and to a Republican party that's united and together. Brown says that includes ending the fight over SB 54, which created the signature path to the primary. The litigation is over, and so my focus as chair is not going to be on relitigating things of the past. Brown says he's heard from thousands of delegates who all say it's time to unify. That was evident at convention as any attempt to argue over rules was quickly extinguished. I think you saw an uprising here today. It said, you know, we don't have to have this long, elongated uh, debates on silly issues. And with the new direction comes the end for Rob Anderson, who decided not to run again after one term as chair. As delegates wished him well, it got emotional. I'm only emotional because of the, the support I got from certain individuals. You go into a hostile environment and... Uh, you build some strong bonds and trust. He says the party's in good hands moving forward. They even dropped conversation on constitutional amendment and bylaw changes. This convention wrapped up in a little more than three hours, a stark contrast from last year's that went well into the night. In Orem, Glenn Mills, ABC4 News.